Emmanuel Inkara here again, African Stars TV. I'm here with the head coach of the Red Army, Ronnie Cananello. Coach, mm. an interesting game. Of course, the first half, a little bit of a mix-up there at the back, which was not a technical mix-up, but just a mental mix-up. Yes, 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 it was a mental mix-up. You know, right from the, from the kick-off, you know, we started playing the ball backwards instead of moving forward you know and just just to to to, to tell the opponents listen here it's not going to be an easy game mm. you know and uh, and there already i was not happy with 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 how we we, we kicked off the uh, the game and um, look we are playing a very uh, tactical game positional mm -hmm. and when you play against teams and i have an experienced team so now if you're playing against inexperienced players what do they do? They run more. And when they run more than your team, then your tactics are in trouble. You know, so what do you, we were, sup, we just, sup, we were supposed to switch on. Read the game and already get the message. These boys are coming to run at us. Mm -hmm. Then we, now we need to move the ball as quickly as possible. We need to move into open spaces. Mm -hmm. The structure was good. Mm -hmm. But the mentality was 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 was, was not the psychological. It was it was wrong. I, I was very unhappy about it. Yes, you can. We can look at the entire 90 minutes. Let's ask ourselves, where were they dangerous? The opponents. They were not dangerous at all. You know, they tried to take long range shots from set pieces, etc. But did they really breach our defense line? No. So they were. They were just there. Mm -hmm. So the running was just being done in between our units, mm -hmm. between the uh, at, at defense and the and the, and the attack, yeah. you know. And um, yes, the, the 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 goal was a gift from us. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's part of our game to start to keep the ball and play. I think the the decision making there was 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 a, a little bit out. Yeah. You know, it was a little bit out because it was a long ball, uh, uh, back pass towards the goalkeeper, and the pressure was coming, and the goalkeeper played it back into the into the. In, into the pressure and with the pass and with the pass diagonally which pa the, actually the pass that I, I think we spoke about it yesterday yes. I don't like that pass the, you know pass. I don't yeah. like that the, uh, the, uh, side, side, side pass. Uh, the pass that goes to the yes. side and uh, obviously with the momentum of the pressure of the uh, opponent moving forward they found they found themselves in front of yeah. in, 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 I mean uh, in front of the ball yeah. and then this, they dispossess it and then boom 1-0 but uh, you know uh, um, I, I knew it will come, mm -hmm. and it will come. And when you see situations like that where goalkeepers are getting injured, it, it was on the floor more than ten times. I wanted to ask, what do you, what do you, do you see of the tactics yeah. of uh, Nyambe? Look, look, we we can't we can't dictate how they want to manage the game, mm -hmm. but I just have a problem with. It takes almost a minute plus for the medic to get there. You know, so that in that situation there, it's not it's not an issue. Yeah. You know, so what the league should do now is they should manage the time the medic must get to the player. Yeah, if it's more than a minute, mm -hmm. then it's, it's dangerous for the player. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a part that we need to address. Mm -hmm. So even if the player is faking an injury, mm -hmm. we want someone to get there as quickly yeah, as possible, possible within 10, 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. that's, that's an area I was not happy, happy about, but I think uh, uh, we came back uh, 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 nicely into the game um, through a, f a free kick mm -hmm. and we, we, we we, we took a bit of, 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 of energy out of them and then the, the second ball was just a sucker punch obviously with the, with the uh, uh, substitutions we made. Exactly, the substitutions with Paulus and Gasep really changing the, the game on the two flanks. Gasep hasn't suffered uh, too much of a serious injury there but he was electric on the left flank when he came on. That's him, he's by nature a, an electric uh, player, he's, he's quick, he's... he's, he's he, 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 he uses it well. It takes his. Uh, it takes the opponent on. Say same with Polis. Mm. So basically, I was just giving them back what they are giving us in terms of their young players mm. with a lot of energy. I said, okay, now towards the end of the game, let's see how much energy you have left. So now I put in players with a bit of energy that has what that uh, a straightforward uh, approach, you know, and yeah. that's to go uh, 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 forward. Yeah. And they basically won the game for the Red Army. And lastly. Results around the league have obviously done, you know, good in favor for African stars. But, of course, we are not really focused on that. The next games are Mighty Gunners and Chula Chula. But uh, looking to the last stretch of the season, it's, the game plan is simple. 
just win the games and go forward, I presume. You know, the, the Chula Chula Mighty Gunners game, it's going to be a fighting game. It's going to be a lot of fight, you know. Uh, uh, Chula Chula, obviously, I, I don't... Uh, the last time I went there with Unam FC, the pitch was unplayable, but we tried to play. Um, hopefully, with the rain now, uh, maybe they have managed to work on it a little bit better. If, we, if it's possible to play, then we'll play. If it's not possible to play, then we'll fight. Yes. You know, and uh, we'll obviously change our approach in terms of the personnel that we want to, to use for that game, especially with Ariel uh, 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 Prince, uh, presence. I'm giving them now a hint already that we'll have uh, uh, Ariel players with Ariel uh, presence uh, against uh, Chula, Chula Chula, and then we'll use uh, 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 speed on the day with uh, our young, 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 young talent, and later on introduce the, the experienced players. With Mighty Gunners, it's a totally different game. I know it, they play a very tight and uh, aggressive game. You know, they run and they play that long ball and they want to make that run behind the defense line. There, the pitch is a little bit better. So mm -hmm. let's 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 test them on the on, on the ground. You know, uh, minute a uh, second per second, uh, second to second, minute to minute. Uh, you know, until the 90 minutes. Um, I, I expect the, the the mighty Gunners game to be similar to the one today, with a lot of energy, aggression. You know, and uh, but we'll be able. To, let's let's go out there and uh, uh, t try and manage the situation. Uh, yeah. We want to keep the momentum. Yeah, three points it is. Great game today. Three points it is. Great coaching, uh, especially with the substitutions. So well done to you and your team. Thank you, Coach. Very much. Cheers, everybody.